thank God for Isaiah Dasher. Um, hmm. uh, kid played well. Um, had great energy, great spirit about him, great emotion, uh, great care, and uh, you know he made the guys on the <clears throat> he made the other guys in uniform believe um, <clears throat> that we could win this game. Um, and then went out there and did it with his actions as well. So really uh, proud of him in the moment. Uh, happy for these guys. Um, you know, we had a formula to win this game. Uh, we wanted to keep the score right where it is uh, and give ourselves a chance to win it in the end with some toughness plays. Uh, and right now where we are, injuries and everything that we got going on, this, this is how we got to grind games out. So. This is a positive for us to be able to win this way now two games and hopefully these guys just continue to believe and you know, we'll be fine. Bosh to get on the board with this group after losing the first two and Mac play. What does it say about their resilience and what they've learned after the first weekend? Um, <clears throat> uh, slow progress, slow progress, but these guys are, um, they're growing up right in front of me and you know, they're showing me that we got some grit and we got some toughness. And it's on me and the staff uh, just to continue to coach these guys and be positive and, um, you know, as we still you know, gain our identity. It seems second half, uh, you guys seem to solve the two-three zone a lot better, had a lot more patience and gotten in the gut of the zone. Yeah, um, uh, we, we actually anticipated, I didn't anticipate them going to the zone as much as they did, but I knew they would go to it. I thought in the first half it caught our guys off guard, um, but we knew we talked about just just make continue to make you know, solid steady plays. Uh, the middle's open, uh, and I thought we made enough of them. Uh, one of the biggest plays of the game, we got the ball, got the ball into the middle, and we got a kick out three, which got us our first lead. And, and I thought we took the momentum. For Isaiah to be a veteran presence and have the game that he did today, what's to say about his confidence moving forward? Yeah. I'm uh, specifically him, man. You know, new, entirely new coaching staff, a bunch of new players. Uh, you know, he was in a role last year. Uh, he's being challenged to be different this year. Uh, I'm watching him just <laughs> legit, just just grow up right in front of my eyes um, and embrace everything that we're talking about. Uh, so this is, you know, I'm excited for him, for him to have a game like this. Yeah, he's running for mayor in Jersey City. He's going to run for mayor. I believe he's prepping for mayor. But talk about the, the Terrell Reed. He does all the things, the tough stuff. You know, he's very vital to your team. Talk about his performance. That's what he is, man. Well, all intangibles, just hard toughness. Uh, we're asking him and Dasher pretty much to, to play every second of, of every game. Um, and without questioning, without giving you those looks like, hey, coach, I need one. Um, you know, he plays the game the right way. Uh, he's in sync with me and what we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, he's a kid that, you know, I'm going to go down fighting with him every day of the week. And I noticed something that, that you did, which, which speaks to vibes and your confidence in your players. You put Rivera back in the game. He hit a crucial three after going over five from the floor. You know, talk about the play and talk about why you had him in that situation. Uh, you know what? I'm going uh, to give you know, kudos to the staff with that. Uh, I took him out being the head coach. And, um, you know, those guys were you know, saying, hey, we got to get him back in. And I said to him, I'll put you in, you going to make one for us? And he said, I will. And, you know, the, the very next possession he made it. So um, that's another moment for us just to grow and, you know, get more connected with each other. And, um, you know, these assistant coaches, they get paid a lot of money. They made a good call there. <laughs> that's why they did, coach. <laughs> How about the uh, three-point defense? Quinnipiac was pretty good at that in the first half, the shooting beyond the first half, and then they didn't make a three-pointer in the second half. Yeah, you know what? We just wanted to be there on the catch, contest their shots. I mean, obviously, with the, the way the game's played, you know, you're not blocking three-point shots. Uh, but defending the three-point line was an emphasis. Those guys have been close to nine in this game. Um, and we noticed the difference in their team when they're not making three. So um, the, exactly how the game played out is you know, what we wanted. Any update on Juju? That's a good question. No. Anything changed from um, from Isaiah in the last week? I know obviously Juju's not playing, but it's the second straight game with a career high. Um, no, I think he's embracing his role more. Um, you know, 
new staff, everything is new. I think he, he had a mindset of doing what he did a year ago. Uh, a couple weeks ago, him and I had a conversation you know, behind closed doors. And, and from there, I mean, he's already got a bright personality. Uh, but you see him really, really just embracing what he's being asked to do. And the numbers are just a result of you know, what he's doing every day in terms of embracing the culture that we're trying to establish.